Hi everybody, how's it going? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our uh, scale shack here. Probably the last night. I think uh, they're not quite gonna finish tonight, but they should be able to wrap things up in the morning. I've been uh, taking over in the scale shack at around eight or so until they finish, then the whammy can go home. It gives me time to uh, count up some of these tickets and catch up on a little bit of YouTube because I haven't uh, watched a lot of videos lately, just in here, I guess. But uh, yeah, should be wrapping up silage and earlage tomorrow. Should be uh, completely done with that and be a good feeling. And uh, yeah, then we'll uh, get back to showing you guys some of the other things going on on the farm. It's a few days later here. We uh, finished covering up all the piles. Just thought I'd show you guys that quick here. So we're, we're by our commodity building here. So we didn't have quite enough white in the last roll there to come all the way to the end, but I didn't want to grab a new roll. Or We don't have any full rolls left, but we have some partial rolls that we could have finished this off with. But I didn't want to waste the plastic because we're going to open this up in a couple weeks and uh, start feeding a little bit off this end so that we can uh, make more room for the trucks to back into the bays. It's been a, they've been able to get in there, but it's a little tight for them to uh, make that sharp uh, turn backing their trailer into the bays. So we'll uh, probably give it at least two weeks, probably three weeks before we start uh, feeding a little bit off this end. Then we'll, we'll feed a mix of this and the uh, other silage, maybe 25% of this and 75% of the other silage. But we'll see uh, once we get going, maybe we can bump it up a little bit if we need to. But it's uh, yeah, good good to get done with all of that uh, now we can get on to some other things get things ready for winter a few water troughs I'd have to check the floats on and we cut the ropes off the curtains here a couple days ago we'll uh, run them once and uh, check them all over I have quite a few curtains that I ordered last fall that I thought were uh, needed to be replaced or were close to needing to be replaced there's four for sure, and then we'll check over some of the other ones to see if there's any other ones that I think we should replace now. And uh, we're planning to pick up the heifers. We've got 20 heifers in the pasture at my sister's place. We're going to do that this afternoon and bring them home. I think they'll be happy to get back into the barn. Uh, they don't have much for uh, grass anymore. We've been feeding them some hay here the last uh, week or so. But it's going to cool off quite a bit tonight. It looks like uh, low in the teens for Fahrenheit. So we'll uh, yeah, get them home, get all that, uh, get their water trough emptied out and get the hoses put away. And uh, yeah, it looks like after tonight it should warm up a little bit again, but winter is here. It's been uh, pretty chilly in the mornings. It was a pretty quick change from fall to winter. It feels like right after we got done with uh, silage and earlage, it really turned around it seems like but we'll show you some of those things here I need to put some bedding in the heifer barn this morning also we'll uh, we'll see if I can get some filming of that otherwise uh, yeah we'll, we'll see where this video goes
finish putting bedding in these uh, two pens here. It's, uh, from that, uh, that shack is in the middle of the barn. From that shack to the west here, there's uh, one pen of uh, reading age heifers right here. And then uh, one pen of pregnant heifers over here. So these are, I don't know, 15, 14. Some are 14, most are 15, 16 months of age. And uh, over there, there's would be some uh, pregnant ones, some bred ones, and some that are uh, too young yet to be bred. They're 12, 13-ish months of age there. Got a nice bred one right there. The beds are kind of on the low side, so I think we'll come back tomorrow or Tuesday and rake them and then put bedding in again one more time. And another nice red one over here. Heifers have done really well in this barn since we converted this over to freestall. So originally from uh, the left there to these poles right here, this was uh, deep bedded with straw. And when we added on to this barn, we converted this side to freestalls. That's worked uh, pretty well for us, or for the heifers anyways. They look good. I think they look good anyways. In our heifer barn now, just gonna go through and check these waters so you can see that this one is all right, but there's uh, the anchor bolts are missing. This one's completely missing, and that one on that side is missing the nut. So I'm gonna try to put a new one in here, but it looks like it was put in right on the seam between these two pieces of concrete, so I'm assuming it's not going to hold, but we'll try it. And then I saw there, the two to my left there, I need to adjust the float a little bit. We don't want this being any fuller than it has to be or than it can be because they just splash more out and especially in the winter time if they're splashing it out it'll freeze up, freeze up around the water trough and it just creates more waste. But these are, they're not very, uh, those doesn't give you a lot of adjustment because we have the heaters, they're underneath the floats inside here and with those uh, heating elements in there you really can't move that float a whole lot. But we'll uh, try to adjust those couple there, try to get that water level a little bit lower. Heifers didn't really like that I was pounding on that anchor, now they're all bellowing. But I got this one tightened up, but just like I thought, that one on this side, it just goes right in between the crack and between the two uh, pieces of concrete, so that didn't hold it out. So I'll have to figure something else out for that, maybe make a little bracket or something to get it away from that seam, or drill it at an angle. Three will hold it for now, so I'm not too worried about that. We'll check these other two and try to get that float a little bit lower. I can show you guys what I'm doing. So this one, the level was, I mean, just about to the top here. And the way you change that is by adjusting this float, but you can see there's, I mean, there's maybe an inch of movement. So I, I might be able to adjust it one notch, we'll try it, but there usually isn't much adjustment on, especially on these small troughs for the heifers. A little dirty in there we should probably come in and clean these on the inside we clean out here where the heifers are but we don't clean this in here very often we'll try to adjust this and uh, see if we can get it better they used to have round floats now they change to these square ones and they're not very good they leak all the time and get water in them and then they don't uh, raise up as quick quickly or stop the stop the valve here as quickly as they normally would
I adjusted it one notch, but now it, it, I mean, there's almost nothing, no movement there now. We'll try and see how it does. I don't like having these crops too full because they make, the heifers make a mess out of it. They like to play with the water. I dropped it down probably a good inch, maybe inch and a half. So I'm, we'll try it there. It feels quite, pretty slow, but these heifers don't drink a huge amount of water. So we'll keep an eye on it. There's uh, one more to check here to the side. And then uh, most of these other ones looked okay. I haven't checked any in the milking barns, but usually my dad will let me know if any of those need to be looked at. At March and Casey's now, we just uh, got the heifers uh, all together and uh, up on the concrete where the water trough is. I wanted to film that, but of course, as soon as we got out there, my camera said low battery, even though it's 40% and then it shuts off. So I just put a new new battery in. I'm gonna back in here. We're gonna load these heifers down this little alley here. Alfredo's down there. We'll get back in and then we'll uh, see if we can get them loaded up. like that we got those 20 heifers moved home went a lot easier than I uh, thought it was going to didn't have uh, much problems at all with uh, getting them uh, together and then getting them loaded on the trailer now we're, uh, we're gonna go load some 18 calves out of the group hutches and bring those over to the heifer barn and then uh, it'll be about time for for those guys to start feeding milk to the calves we will probably end this video here if you guys have any comments or questions, uh, post them down below. And I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one.